Hi, this is Mr. Mark, and I'm going to give you a basic class on how to build a Google site. Every website has structure that it's made of. In this particular example, this is how we're going to make our websites. We're going to have the home page. Then underneath the home page, we're going to have more pages, sub pages. And we'll have like a research page, an about me page, a classes page, and an external link to my website. And the classes page we'll have uh, uh, more sub pages underneath um, with the individual classes that you're studying. So the first thing you have to do is to find the place that you're going to store your Google site. In this case, it's going to be in my grade seven folder. So I right click inside the folder and I go down to more. Then I find where it says Google sites. I click that and then I open it up. First thing we see when it's opened up is the, the basic layout of a Google site that's unedited. Uh, starting from your left to your right, this is the file name that you'll have in Google Drive if you change this part right up here. Let's go ahead and do this. And if we go back and look at our grade seven Google site, it will appear. Mark Hefner ePortfolio. Now let's add the title. Let's center it. Just like that. Down at the bottom, it says add footer when you put your mouse over the bottom part. So let's add a footer. Footer is where you'll put something like uh, something that you want to be on every page. So I'm going to, uh, first I'm going to center. I'm going to put my name, Mark Hefner. And I'm going to put my email address, Hefner at nis.ac.ta. Now if I highlight that, and I press Control K, it will automatically create a hyperlink out of it. Now, I like to add a little bit of color to my footer. Just going to add it here. So let's go ahead and add our logo and our favicon. So to do that, you have to click up on the settings panel and it brings up the settings window. And you have some options here where it says brand images is where we add our logo and our favicon. A favicon is what you see at the top of every web page. A little picture describes a web page. And then my logo, I'm going to use the same logo. And then I just close it. When I publish my website, the favicon at the top of the page will change to what I've used before. And as you can see up here, my logo here is loaded next to my name. Sometimes people like to put quotes on their home page. If you want to do that, just go to Google and type uh, quotes in a search bar. Quotes. And then you can find lots of quotes. 50 short inspirational quotes. You. Here's a good one. Act as if what you do makes a difference. It does. By William James. I'm just going to copy that. Can't see that, so. Nowadays, with the new Google, you're able to change the color of your text. Well, there's my little quote. I'll size it. Put it in. The it. So there's my home page. Now, if I want to see what my home page looks like, go up here to this little icon and I click Preview. There's my home page. Let's close it. Now another thing you can do on the home page is change the image back here behind your header. 
your header you can select it as a large cover a large banner or just a banner whichever way you want to do it so let's change the image back there real quick and select image you find something you like nice and select it you notice these three stars down here at the bottom Google automatically adjusts how the text appears in front of the picture so people can read it it's called a readability adjustment if I remove it it makes it harder to read but if I add it it darkens the picture so the white text band stands out let's look again at the structure of our website we finished our home page we got our logo one logo two which is our favicon our quote and our footer now let's create these pages down here first page is our research page what is an e-portfolio when we go back to our website over on the toolbar on the right side of the page in Google Sites it says insert pages and themes let's go ahead and add some pages right here on the home page we want to add another page now we don't want it to be under the page we want it to be beside it so you can see it when you look at your home page so let's just click here it says new page or new link let's do new page and we'll call this page research we'll click done and the new page is there pretty easy right let's look again and let's see what's next about me country family hobbies favorite subject go back to our e-portfolio and add an about me page and once again I just click the plus sign in the bottom corner add the about me there's my about me page now I can add some topics below go back over here and let's look again what am I adding I'm adding about me country family hobbies favorite subject so there are different layouts that you can choose that will automatically populate the space down here I'm going to pick this one here. And this one is where I'm going to put my picture. And see these little circles here on this box? I can drag these so my picture shows up better. Then I can add a title. And then I can add some more information below. But I don't want to use the same layout, so I'm going to add a different one. Let's add this one here. What else am I looking for? Family and hobbies. Families. And I can add some more. Hobbies. Favorite subject. And if you want to add more, you can. Favorite food. That looks like a pretty good about me page. Now let's add all the classes. As you can see, I'm going to make a, a sub page first, and then I'm going to make sub pages below that for the different classes. Let's do that now. So if I go back to my toolbar again, and right now it's on insert if I go to pages and just click on the plus sign and add a new page and this is going to be my classes and there's my class now I don't like the way this is arranged up here it says home classes about me and research I'm gonna move this down a little bit I'm going to put it right here. Now I want to add some more classes. So you just add the different classes you're, you're taking by pushing the plus sign, adding your classes. Now look at my menu at the top. Now it's got too much there and I don't want them there. If we look back before, it showed that our classes were down below the, the classes page. So what we have to do 
is to go back here and we click on it and then we drag it till there's a square box right underneath and we let it go. Now it's embedded below this class. And for this one here, I click it, click it and drag it just like before on top of classes. Click, drag, drop. Click, drag, drop, just like that. And there's my classes. And I can even rearrange them. For example, if I wanted this in alphabetical order, I would drag it up until it's aligned and let it go. And I would do the next one and drag it up and let it go. And we grab this one and let it go. And there are my classes. Looking back at our plan, we want to add a link to Mr. Mark's website. So let's do that now. So it seems like I'm running out of space here on the right side. So I'm just going to close this here by clicking on the arrow and I have more space. So I have a website and the way you add a website is to hover over the plus sign and then you'll see two icons. One is new page, the other is new link. Click on the new link and add the website. The website you add could be any website. It could be my website or it could be somebody else's website. I'm going to add somebody else's website. Here's the link that I've copied already. I just add it there. And here I put common sense. .org. It is a very cool website. And there it is. So you can see the structure of my website looks pretty good now. And I'm done pretty much with everything except to publish my website. So let's do that now. The way to publish a website is to click on the blue button in the top right corner and click publish. Then you type the web address. My web address is, will be Mark E Portfolio. Mark's E Portfolio. Then I click Publish. I click View. There's my website. Once you're done with your website, you can look at it. Hey, there it is. Great. And if you want to share your website, just click up here, copy, paste that into your email or, or your, well, your chat, whoever you're chatting with. Now I also want to add my website to it. Now we've added an external link over here at commonsense.org. And I also want to add one more, um, one more link, which is my website. I'm going to put your Mark's website here. I'm going to put the link here that I've copied already. And there it is. And then every time you make a change to your website, you have to publish. So click it again and you'll have a place to review your changes. And it said added link Mr. Mark's website. And then once you like what you see, you click published. And to view your site again, it'll come up like that. Then we have Mr. Mark's website, About Me Research. Let's rearrange those a little bit. I'm going to put Mr. Mark's website there. And I'm going to put Common Sense there. I'm going to move that one there. Classes here. And Research there. And I made a change, so what do I have to do? I have to publish again. It says one or more navigation items have moved. And this is the, what I'm changing it to. That's called the draft. And this is what it currently is. This is what I'm changing. Publish. And I'm done. My new website. And everything looks different. About me. Research. Mr. Mark's website. Now if I want... I can put my external links on their own page. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do that. So let's make a page first and I'm just going to call it external links like that. And then I'm going to drag my links to that page and put them in there. So 
Now the reason you do this is your website might start to get cluttered if you start adding a lot to it. This just helps it to be a little more organized. And if you look at my menu up here, see it looks a little more organized. Now the menu doesn't have to be here. I can move it. I can put it over here by clicking the settings button, clicking navigation, and where it says mode, I can change it to the side. I can change the color to white or black or keep it clear. Then just like before, I made a change. So let's publish that change. And you can see all my changes over here. Then I can publish it here. There we go. And I can close these other ones. So I've got quite a few. And if you look on the side, it shows you everything there. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, that's about it. If you have any questions, send me an email and I will help you out. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.